In this video, we're going to show you how to transform dated thrift store vases into a textured stone look vase. But first, if you're new to Sunnyside Design, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll know when each of our new videos come out. To create this look, you'll just need a few basic supplies. A can of primer, cream colored spray paint, a light gray paint, white paint, a chip brush or any old kind of worn paintbrush and salt wash paint additive. The first thing you'll want to do is coat the vase in primer. We like to prop ours up on an old tuna can so we can get the bottom edges of the vase covered easier and you can use anything you have on hand to prop them up. After the primer is dry, add a layer of the cream colored spray paint and allow that layer to dry. And now that we have our base color on the vase, we can start adding that textured stone look. And this is where it really starts to get fun. And now we're going to give them that aged effect. And for that, we're going to use salt wash. We're gonna mix, this is a paint additive, and it's used generally to give something like an aged, see, what does it say? Sun and salt soaked look. So we're going to try to add this to our paint and see what kind of a finish we get on these spots. Okay, the paint that I have is just a sample um, of wall paint and it's kind of a gray taupey color. The color is actually a bear and it's called garden wall. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this on a plate for mixing it. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this salt wash and it is kind of a light blue in color. It does not change the color of the paint mix that in. I just want to mix it until there's not any more of that powder showing. So it's mixed in really well. I'm also going to take a white this might be easier to mix in a cup. I wanted you to be able to see it as I mix it but it's a little bit messy on a plate. We want it to be thick enough that it's going to kind of hold its shape. I'm going to add a little bit more to that one. Because my plan is to add some dimension and some texture to these pots that we picked up at the thrift store. It's getting thick now. You can see it's kind of holding its shape now, and that's what we want. So for this, I'm just going to take just some chip brushes, or I've got an old sprung paintbrush and I'm just going to apply this kind of randomly on the pot to add some dimension to it and some depth. So I'm just going to kind of pounce it on and I'm trying to get little ridges in the paint. And I don't want to cover the whole thing, just areas just here and there. making it textury. Now we've used this salt wash technique on furniture before. We've done it on some candlesticks. This is the first time I've tried it on pottery. We've tried several different methods of aging pots from using drywall mud to plaster. And I just got this idea the other day and I thought, why not try it, the salt wash on a pot, a pot like this. So. We'll see how it turns out. Continue applying this color of paint until most of this base color has been covered and allow it to dry. The fun thing about working with salt wash is that there is no wrong way to do it. You really can't make any mistakes and that just is a nice feeling when you're creating something. If you find you don't like an area as you're working, you can just add more paint and dab it or brush to create a new texture. And the key to making these vases look like stone is to create a lot of texture anyway. So keep playing with the paint until you're happy with the way it looks. Okay, now I'm going to take that white and dab a little bit of that on there. I'm just going to randomly just put a little bit of white here and there, just adding some more dimension to the pot. So it looks like a weathered old piece that's 
got kind of the calcium built up on it. And each layer is adding a little more dimension and depth, not only because of the salt wash that we added in, just the, the layering on of colors is going to add in that as well. So now that I've gone around the entire pot once stippling it with the white, this time I'm gonna, now I'm, as I go around, I'm going to just kind of stipple it and then kind of brush it out a little bit just to make some more marks in it that I think are a little more natural looking. So we're getting that kind of handmade rustic pot look. And really we're just using just the salt wash and paint. I am loving the way this is turning out. Lots of depth and dimension and texture getting layered on here. Okay, I'm just gonna check it around, turn it around and see if there's any spots I wanna add a little bit more white to. And then I'll give you a close up view of what it looks like finished. And that's it. Once the vase is dry, style it in your home and admire that unique piece of decor you've made. This technique really is fun to do and we love that you can't really make any mistakes. Reworking an area and adding more texture just adds more character, making it look that much more natural like a stone vase. Be sure to let us know what you think down in the comments. And if you've used salt wash before, give this video a thumbs up. What other projects have you used it for? And what other projects have you been wanting to try it on? We'd love to hear your creative ideas. Up next, we're going to show you another technique to create a textured vase for an amazing high-end pottery barn dupe. Just tap the link on the screen or down in the description box below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.